All right, what's up, everybody? This is IPC Timor, formerly Timor Ultima. I've got a game of free for all on hard hat for you, and I'm using the G36C today with the holographic uh, sight as well as the MP9 no attachments for my secondary. I got blind eye, quick draw, and uh, dead silence for my perks. And I'll be running the specialist package, so I'll also have uh, sleight of hand at two. Uh, scavenger at 4 and then blast shield at 8. Um, I got the portable radar going again for this game. Um, it comes in pretty handy, you know, just because, you know, it's, it doesn't save you from absolutely uh, everybody. It doesn't let you know where they all are, like uh, those assassin users are still safe, but uh, for the most part, assassin isn't, isn't really that prevalent. I like that a lot, you know, uh, compared to black ops when everybody used to run ghost. Uh, it's, it's sort of a welcome change uh, to have. Um, you know, have a lot of people still susceptible to uh, some of those things, if not the air support. I I'm never <laughs> I mainly use blind eyes, so I I never really have to worry about air support, and I think that helps out a lot. But I don't know. Anyway, but hey, speaking of Black Ops, uh, right now Black Ops has a 24/7. Uh, let's see what map are they doing? 24/7 firing range, and so you know you can go in there in the uh, main playlist and. Uh, you know, you just click on 24/7 firing range. It'll be at the very bottom of the menu, and uh, you'll, you can just play a, a variety of game types uh, on that map. You know, and firing range is actually one of my favorites. So, uh, you know, I would say, how do I get this guy? What just happened? Uh, no, but you know, it's firing range is probably one of my favorite maps. So when I saw that was coming out, I was super, super excited. And then I went over and I played a few games on it. I mean. As soon as you start playing that game, it plays so differently from Modern Warfare 3. And I remember now, after having played some Black Ops, that when I first started playing Modern Warfare 3, I was like, oh, holy crap, you know? How am I ever going to play this game, thinking about Modern Warfare 3? And I was like, there's just no way. Like, it feels so different than Black Ops. And I actually have to say that the two games definitely feel different. Um, and I thought Black Ops felt better, like when I first started playing Modern Warfare 3, but it, I actually think the opposite now. Like, you know, both games are running at 60 frames a second, but maybe it's the hit detection is all screwed up in Black Ops or something, but I mean, that game just does not feel very good, you know, just playing it. Like, it's like, come on, where are my, where are my hit markers? What, why aren't these guys dead yet? And, uh, so I, I actually decided to stop playing, um, the 24/7 uh, firing range playlist because I I don't know I was I wasn't really feeling the capture the flag and the search and destroy and I I just wanted to play some you know play a little free for all so I I just backed out and played a few games of free for all and it was just the most frustrating thing ever because it's like you're used to I'm not sure what it is about Modern Warfare 3 but it's just super super smooth compared to. Uh, Black Ops, maybe maybe they did it on purpose. Like, you know, Black Ops is like Cold War era, so maybe the guns were a little clunkier back then, but that's what they feel like. You know, the guns just don't feel right. And I mean, maybe they feel a lot better than they should in Modern Warfare 3, like compared to real life. And what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm sorry. I swear I hear somebody up above me, and I'm thinking, just be patient. You're never patient. He'll come down, and then you can move on. And I actually expect him to be right there on those stairs, but um, he never comes. I don't know where he went. Maybe I was just going crazy, so sorry for the camping. But, you know, I just the uh, weapons in Modern Warfare 3 are just super, super buttery, and I love them. Uh, but then if you go and play, you know, freaking Black Ops, which I, you know, I used to be decent at, I just, I mean, it feels like crap, you know? Well, that guy must have been mad. Uh, and that's a drop shot without the tactical layout by the way I'm, I'm just using normal layout one of the few people who still uses normal layout I'm sure but uh, you know I still managed to get that drop shot so that was fun also you see back there my blast shield totally failed me because I knifed that guy got blast shield as one of my perks on my specialist bonus uh, well not specialist bonus but in my specialist strike package I had blast shield and it popped up on the screen you can see it but that claymore still kills me so maybe you don't get the benefit of the perk like right away. Maybe there's a little lag or something, but I discovered that and that was that was unfortunate. So 
But I don't know. I was I was disappointed, you know, and I was like, all right, so free for all isn't feeling so hot in Black Ops. How about you know? How about I play a little uh, a little gun game? And then that was awful too. I was like, oh my god, all my favorite things are just ruined in this game apparently. And I never remembered the um, game having such issue with hit detection. But tonight was just super bad, and I was like, oh my god, I just cannot play this anymore. So. Um, you know, I just, I had a gameplay and I was going to do a commentary on it, but I was like, I was just so fed up playing Black Ops, like it felt so shady that I just, I couldn't even be bothered. I had it half done and I said, forget about it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I just want to be done with this game. I want to get back to Modern Warfare 3 as, you know, as disappointed as I am to say that. Nice little double kill there. Um, but I don't know. That was just, it was sad. But, you know, guys, you can always check out a little, uh, and there's also double XP, so double XP on 24/7 firing range also. So maybe you know, for some people who maybe want to haven't prestige yet, you can still get a prestige token if you prestige in Black Ops. So uh, double XP could help out. But you'll see no final kill cam here because that little baby quit out. So no final kill cam. But you know, I did fine. It was a fun game. It was it was good to get back in the swing of things with Modern Warfare 3. So thanks for watching, guys. Have another video for you soon. Have a good night.